Uther versus Uther. I will Why not anything last year? I didn't even think about it. I was just waiting for him. It was... I don't know. I mean, my board was already full. I already had damage prop the ice block. I'm sure it would have been fine. It's some. I think my board might overfill a little bit. Either way, it doesn't matter. I doubt that meeting is like something about giving pro players advantage on new cards. I, I mean, I, our NDA is over on the last meeting, and the last meeting was just about standard, like set rotations. Loot Hoarder, he might be running uh, Murloc Pally as well. We could take some initiative with the Merc Guy here, but hmm. If we are both Murloc Paladin, I could bluff any coin anything. It's not even bluff, I could have coin anything before him mm. if the game gets really aggressive before then. I think it's too good. Also, I can um, co coin on a boom, but I think this move is too good to give up. It sets the tempo of the game in my favor instead of behind. The worst matchup for any Finn is Druid, I believe. I would say Druid might be close second. I mean, Druid's the worst zoo, potentially is the second worst, but I teched in double MC tech for zoo, so. I, I think this deck's favored against Secret Paladin. I'd choose it, like, I, I would choose in tournament against Secret Paladin. Just because Secret Paladin, the board isn't sticky and they build up mostly uh, power spikes turn 6 to 8, whereas Zeus starts pressuring a lot earlier and they're stickier. But by the time that you get to turn 6 to 8, you can uh, just equality stuff easily. Alright, you keep track of these Murlocs. I think I don't want to play a whole lot of Murlocs before because he can have the first anything now that I use my coin. As long as he doesn't threaten me with 30 damage. So one Merc guy, two War Leaders, three War Leaders, that's pretty... Uh, this this guy's pretty scary to play. Let me think. I think I just play a Pyro here with two Pyros and start pressuring like this. I, I probably don't want to play this Blue Gill if I can avoid it. Once I play this Blue Gill, there'll be three Blue Gills dead and one Merc guy, and if he starts spamming War Leaders, I'm pretty scared of just dying on turn 10, because he'll have the first potential anything. <laughs> I haven't made the just the card jury control deck yet. Kind of worried about this turn because I want to have a clear board for Doctor Boom, but it's hard. I don't want to use the quality, so I guess let's play Doomsayer and try to go for a Doomsayer explosion. This also sets me up for Soul Vigil if I get it on my turn. Instead of his. What is Gachi Gazm? I don't know what that means. Wait, what? He already. What? It's. Wait, what? That really can't be set for anything because it's turn 7. Unless he just has something to do turn 8 and turn 9, he can't for the mana or something. Okay, so how much damage is that? Uh, two bluegills, one of these, one of these, so it's four plus f seven. Fifteen damage. I just want to get a good number in my head, so fifteen damage with anything right now. Oh, he's setting up for land- that doesn't make sense. He didn't set up for land hands, because he would still- he still can't land hands after the, uh, war leader. Oh. Eh, he's- yeah, I mean- he didn't even need to play it to suffer next turn land hands. It's very hard for us to play. We can't really equal Pyro Consecrate? Nah. It's no good way to do this. I think we just trade. Okay, so that's not gonna work out for us. If 
If I use equality, I have no way to clear anything can happen. I wish I had won anything. I feel like if... This is an interesting matchup, actually. Because it's only 15 damage right now and doesn't kill me, if I had my own anything, it would be a lot better. Because uh, if he played anything, I think if I played the next one, he would die. Just because the War Leader's buff... Like, his War Leader's buffs my Murlocs, too. So it's really dangerous to play anything in this matchup if you don't have OTK. But I don't have the anything in my hand. Either. Hmm. Do you like to play with fire? So it's about the small fight. If I use Pyro Consecrate, then I still have Equality Consecrate. I'd like to potentially do this a little different though. I was hoping to steal this Pyro so I can save my Pyro, or at least steal a, one of the other minions, but that one was kind of useless. Just dies to the Pyro. I still have to clear though, can't take too much more damage. Um, I'd like to pick up an Anyfin, it just gives me more options. But for the most part, this matchup's going to be about who wins the non Murloc fight. Because n neither of us can really afford to use Anyfin without OTK. I hope I don't calculate it wrong, but it's, uh, it should be 15 damage. Right now, 4-4, four, four, and then 7. I don't know what any of these uh, things mean. I don't even have BTTV, so... Okay, so what has died so far? Uh, one, two, and then... I feel like I die no matter what to second anything. If I play this blue guild warrior. Or if I don't, it doesn't really matter. So you get two and then four, four. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's not even close. You know, I think it's better for me not to play it. Actually, no, I should play it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I wish I had more time. I wanted to do the math to see if I can kill him with my Fin, leaving it up and killing it. How many Murlocs have died? So right now we have four war leaders, or no, four warriors, one war leader, and one of these that's died. Let me think. I think I'll kill him next turn, not attacking, not trading. But if I trade, I'll get one more Murloc, but he'll have like not this war leader buffing my guy. And since I already had six dying. Like, the two Murlocs of trade, I don't get them all back, since it'll overfill the board. I can't hear a power, I should hear a power, I guess. Follow the rule. Okay, I'm pretty sure he lost. Reporting for duty. I get four little guys, one Mur- yeah, I'm pretty sure it's dead. It doesn't seem that close in my estimate. Play 
Let's put some pressure against potentially Freeze Mage. The other reason is uh, this is a 3-2 against Acolyte of Pain turn 3, potentially. If I just make a dude and he plays Acolyte as a Freeze Mage, that's very awkward for me. Plus I have a lot of ways to deal with Tempo Mage with Double Dooms here right now. You know, the more I think about this, 1-1's one, not gonna make a difference. I have two Trusslers in my hand right now. That's 16 damage. I'm just gonna swing them. My feel of pressure is blocked preemptively. Alright, just to clarify, what do you guys mean by adding a emote through BTT, like, better Twitch TV? Is it something that you do for your, like, each channel? For justice. Uh, I got two dollar and one donation from definitely not BZ. What am I gonna do with the money if you aren't streaming for a few days? I would uh, get some drinks or something per channel. All right. I actually like I installed the app Better Twitch TV, but at some point I said it broke functionality recently. I'll check it out for next time. Oh, this is Echo Giants probably. Um, what should I do? Now I regret attacking so much. The rule. I don't want to play Doomsayer here because if this is duplicate, like the problem with some, some of the problem with Echo Giants is it relies on the duplicate to do things sometimes because, like, say your whole hand is freeze and burn and stuff, not burn, uh, like freeze control cards. And this is a duplicate. If I Doomsayer and I blow this board up, then it allows him to spend Belchers. But right now, it seems like he might not have anything to do, so I just want to Peacekeeper this instead of uh, killing it. You need to figure a way to mess up his duplicate. For justice. I'm not sure if it's duplicate now, because he played as Mad Scientist. I think he wouldn't play a Mad Scientist if it was duplicate. Oh, that's such a good move. Oh no, it's not that great. Let's see. Actually, yeah, it might be really good. What I can do is, I don't want to be able to satisfy Mad Scientist and the Slime. So next turn, if I Consecrate, I'll still duplicate this. But if I kill this first, and then Consecrate, I will mess him up here. So I can Murkai or just use True Silver. I'm using Murkai though. Actually, I can do this. What I did mess up, uh, I, the problem is I don't have another equality activator. If I can get his block here... I don't think so, it's 5-9, I'm a 2 off. I can get him into range for Consecrate. I'm not gonna attack. Play this as a control game, because uh, it's too easy for him to heal with this kind of deck. Embrace the light. So I don't think he has Echo. Right now. No, oh, I still kill it. I don't, I don't see a reason not to kill it. Hmm. 
Awkward. So I get a four attack charger, a seven attack charger. No, no, a six attack charger. That's the problem. A four and a six. I think I have to sell him vigil here. I can't get his block and kill the Doomsayer. Okay, so now I have 448, I think. So it's 16 plus the boom bots. This should be good. Oh, 447. Messed that up again. Oh, I mean, it's still enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not sure if it matters. Say he, say he about says him at one HP. If I don't have lethal with anything, I don't really have any other moves since I've already used all my qualities and consecrates. I wouldn't be able to clear the board anyways and just lose the next turn. I just want to set up um, for AoE at this point, so I, I breaked it. Also, the thing is, he can farm him, uh, farm with them, game boss, get more minions like that, anyways. I still have these AoEs, uh, these death rattles to worry about after AoEing, though. Put this apple on your head. That's pretty scary. It's like a high threat minion. It's kind of hard for me AoE right now. I don't really get a more safe board after AoEing. I do make it Seed Giants and Gormox harder to play, but we don't care about those cards that much since we can equality them. Also, we'd rather AoE on turn 6, power equality, so we can do Dr. Boom in turn 7. I was thinking of saying Pyro since it's a little bit cheaper to Pyro quality and quality Consecrate. And also it's a little bit easier against Lothab. But Consecrate's a stronger card on its own. So I decided to save Consecrate. I see. 
Alright, so look at this turn. That's perfect for me in a way. It's still scary. I could still die, but I was most of the time playing Boom anyways. Uh, 6 plus 6, 12 damage. That's pretty risky. Hmm. He needs 6 damage to kill me. I can leave him with 5 damage and some minions on board to help absorb some damage and fight. It might set me up for Light Hands next turn. Start healing up. I'm just going to play double Murlocs here. Uh, the Murloc is... it's still dangerous against, I guess, double abusive, but at least single abusive can't kill it, or power roaming is still pretty dangerous. If he power roamings, I can at least uh, Peacekeeper the 4-4. I don't want to play MC Attack without stealing a minion, and this allows me to deal imp game boss by just buffing this up to 5-4 and killing imp game boss. Hmm, Consecrate is actually okay here, but still not that great. I want to save the Peacekeeper. I have Consecrate for an Equality Activator, kind of like, it's okay to keep them separate as well, since Equality, uh, equality Pyro can be a thing, then Consecrate can be a thing on its own, but still, for, for now, it's hard for me to... Make weaker plays as I'm fighting him on board. Pretty good number three. I guess two would have been a little bit better. Have a decent shot at stealing this egg or this one. One. So looks like he's trying to keep this egg as death rattle. He actually could have popped this egg. Okay, that makes sense since he has playing these, so he wants to keep the egg and the death rattle for equality.
Looks like I did dodge Defender of Argus. Might just die though. I win on turn 10 as is. Let me think about this for a second. For justice. I feel like even if I don't have lethal next turn, um, I could still win from anything on the board. So he did tap to 12. My anything did 12 damage. I'll see him just going face. <laughs> 